app for question 20. The last question of the day, okay? And now we want to answer the following questions pertaining to the low structure below. So this is boron dihydrogen, okay? So boron. Technically, it is a one of those metalloids. We really don't know what these things do, uh, but we can just say it's boron dihydrogen and it's two minus, okay? So, funny enough, boron is on the 13th column. So that's why it has three electrons it can use. And hydrogen only has one each. So that's three and then one each, that's three again. But it is base three minus. So that's plus one more electron. So in total, we're actually working with seven electrons which is a very strange oh whoops i miscounted bh2 minus so that's a two so that's three plus two plus one six electrons apologies for that so they did give us the electron um the blue star diagram so that's going to be as they see there boron in the middle and then two hydrogens and as you can see here, when we actually do the, um, I guess, the formal charges, boron, okay, likes to just have three bonds, okay? So if you replace a bond with a um, lone pair, so that's what we did here, this is actually how we got into a negative formal charge. And that's where the formal charge negativity will be for it to be the BH2 minus. It's on the boron, actually, not the hydrogens. Because the hydrogens are fine. They just like to be like just one bond, which is what they're doing right there. So with that being said, the electron pair geometry around the B atom in BH2 minus is, so electron pair geometry based on the central atom, we have to circle the amount of pairs it has. It has one bonding pair, another bonding pair, and one lone pair. So in total, we have three pairs. This is known as sp2 hybridized, and for this shape, we say that it's a trigonal planar, okay? That is what we say when it comes to the electron pair geometry, all right? Now, how many lone pairs are there? There are, as we said, one lone pair. So the geometry, now that you're referring to the molecular geometry of BH2, this will be known as bent, I believe, to where it's not a perfect trigonal planar where everything's 120 degrees apart. It's actually now the hydrogen just slightly close to each other. So just a little bit less than 120 degrees. And we have to check the Vesper theory sheet here just to make sure. So it's three and it's a two one split and it's also known as bent. So that's what we're looking at right here. Okay, so that is what we have for the molecular geometry of BH2 minus. But now we have BEI2, so beryllium iodide, because I believe beryllium is a metal. Yes, it is, so it is just beryllium iodide. And they did give us a Lewis structure, we just like to verify. Beryllium can uh, contribute two electrons, iodine seven each, because it's on the 17th column, so that's 14. So 16 electrons total. And as I drew it there, the Lewis dot diagram is just BE, two bonds, and then the I's on each side. And they're all filled out the octet. Okay, and we have 16 electrons. Let's see. We have two bonds, so that's four electrons. And we have six lone pairs, which is 12 electrons. So we do indeed have 16. So now, Let's see here if it follows the uh, formal charge. So beryllium just likes to have two bonds. So that's exactly what it's doing. And the iodine likes to have three lone pairs and one bond, which is what it's doing as well. So that's why the formal charge of this is zero. So now as a last part check, we want to find out the electron pair geometry, how many lone pairs, and what's the um, molecular geometry of it. So we circle it now. We have one, 
two. We have two pairs. Okay. So this is just SP hybridized. And this actually is known as linear. Okay. And funny enough, because there are zero lone pairs around the central atom specifically, so not the iodine, the beryllium, the geometry, the molecular geometry actually stays as linear as well. That's actually what we all we do for this question. So now let's go down and see if that is the case. We have boron has one lone pair and is bonded with two other elements. So the electron geometry is trigonal planar, perfect, so that one we got. And because there's one lone pair, it's going to be bent, so it's perfect. The electron pair geometry around the beryllium is linear, as I said, and there's zero lone pair, so the, the molecular geometry stays linear as well. So luckily we were to get the same answer as everything else. Hopefully you're able to see why. You have to make sure you count the pairs. That's why I circled them. Okay. And based on that, you want to make sure you distribute them based on what they have. So of the pairs I counted, how many of them are lone pairs and things like that, etc. So with all that being said, this is correct. I do believe this is our last question for the day. But let's double check. Let's see. So it was indeed. So with that being said, I just want to thank you again for joining me today. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a good morning. And for all the topics that we covered today, if you just need some extra help, definitely check out one of our professional tutors here by checking out the links in the description below. And anything else, no, I don't believe so. So thank you again for joining me. You have a rest, good rest of your day and see you next time.